Well, since the rollout of the first Tetra network back to the end of last century, there has been more than 2,000 Tetra contracts signed. Okay, that is uh, such a remarkable success, we shouldn't forget that Tetra was born as a system for European public safety organizations in Europe. And the success has been that big that today there are Tetra networks all over the world, any kind of sites, and there are users that is not only public safety, public safety but there are so many other segments that are enjoying the, the quality of this technology. Well, indeed, uh, there is um, a de facto, there is a de facto split between two technologies, GSMR and Tetra. GMSR, GSMR is, let's say, taking the lead on high-speed trains and high-distance trains, and at the same time, Tetra is the right technology in metros and short-distance trains. That's the uh, split makes much sense. Indeed, it's giving us the opportunity at CAPS Carrier Com of providing a full portfolio to, to our customers. Well, LTE is a great technology that is about to change the usage and performance of public sector cellular networks. There are many organizations that they are thinking that uh, LTE will be the convergence point of both GSMR and Tetra. However, that it is not going to happen unless railway organizations got the chance to roll out their own systems. Because uh, relying on public safety networks for safety related matters is a suicide, is a very big mistake because at the very critical moment, those networks are not available. If we also keep in mind the serious problem we got all over the world for spectrum availability for LTE, it turns out that there will be no frequency space for mission critical organizations. So at the end, what is going to happen is that this lack of spectrum availability is going to make that GSMR and LTE got a very long life for the years to come.